Meanwhile, a new report by the African Development Bank has analyzed trends of Chinese investment in Africa. VOA's Carolyn Turner has the results. Europe remains Africa's largest export market, but Africa's trade with China is growing, according to a new report from the African Development Bank. China is also aggressively investing in Africa's infrastructure, according to the chief economist at the African Development Bank, Matul Nkub. As I said, Africa has an infrastructure deficit. It's, it's quite big. It's not obvious how you, you know, you close it in one day. So this is just another way of making sure the the roads, the rails, and the electricity, you know, is is put in. Uh, and China is filling that gap. And in fact, if you look at the infrastructure investment in Africa in the last few years, China has probably put in more money than anyone else. The the more than the governments in Africa themselves, and more than any other investor in Europe or, or indeed the, the North America. Chinese investments in Africa's infrastructure have increased by close to 50 percent every year for a decade. In 2007, China financed 10 hydroelectric power projects in Africa, spending billions of dollars and increasing power by 30 percent. Analysts say the investments are a result of China's global economic strategy, shaped by its political objectives and its demand for resources. It's designed to support this relationship which is built around resource extraction or somewhere, some, you know, around resources. It could be oil, it could be, it could be whatever that they're buying. So it's designed to support that, that uh, you know, uh, objective. China has invested $4 billion in African roads and rail. The roads and rail in those countries, uh, Gabon, Nigeria and so forth, is meant to, to get to, to the, uh, the mines where resources are, are found, uh, but also it's just part of the, the investment agreements, which is to get you know, infrastructure upgraded, because I mean, you have to move this product once you've extracted, extracted it, so infrastructure around that does do that. According to the African Development Bank, crude oil accounts for 70% of Africa's exports to China. Business groups say China's demand for Africa's natural resources reestablishes Africa as a source of valuable commodities for the world. But critics say China is no different from early colonists who exploited trade with Africa. Critics say China's demand for oil in exchange for infrastructure mortgages future generations. But the African Development Bank also says infrastructure is needed. It is fair because in the sense that uh, 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 is, is China has, in my view, the mindset of an investor when it comes to dealing with Africa. Certainly the results show that, that it thinks like an investor rather than as a government. So an investor is negotiating to invest. And, and what does the, the investee want in return? We want some infrastructure, they want a fair deal. Jian Henry of Human Rights Watch says it is incumbent upon governments to preserve natural resources. There's no doubt that there are a lot of foreign investors interested in the natural resources of Sudan, and the Chinese are a big player, um, certainly with regard to the oil industry there. Um, and uh, I think, you know, arrangements absolutely need to be made to ensure that the wealth from these natural resources trickle down back to the people. Africa-China trade is worth more than $100 billion a year. The trade is not completely balanced between China and the continent, as Africa has an annual trade deficit with China of about $10 billion, according to the African Development Bank report. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.